What's up everybody? Today I'm very excited because I got a new computer. Yes, I got a brand new workstation from Puget Systems and I could not be more excited about it. Before I get any further into this video, I need to say that Puget did offer me a discount on my machine in exchange for making this video. But to be honest, I already knew I was going to get a Puget machine and I was going to make this video anyway. So that was just like sprinkles on top of the ice cream and I can't thank them enough for it. But before we get into the details of the new machine, let me show you what I was working on before. This is the Razer Blade 15 Advanced 2020 model with an RTX 2080 Supermax Q GPU inside. And from all the research that I did online, this was gonna be able to handle my workload no problem. With After Effects, Premiere, even GPU rendering in Redshift and Cinema 4D, this could do it all. And honestly, for the first year and a half, it absolutely did. I had no issues with it. And the reason I went with a gaming laptop instead of a desktop was for portability. I wanted to be able to take this out of my office, work remotely without any issues. And that was all fine and dandy until this happened. <laughs> What I did not anticipate and what I didn't even know to consider is that the batteries inside these machines cannot handle the extreme heat that comes from constant GPU rendering and heavy workloads over long extended periods of time. My problem was that I would always have it on my desk on a stand, and so I never even considered that the battery might be swelling because I hardly ever closed the lid. But that's exactly how I found out it was happening. One day I did take it off, and tried to close it to pack it away and it would not close. Because the battery was swelling inside, it was bulging up on the trackpad and the keyboard, and I quickly just ran it outside, took off the bottom compartment, and the battery just popped up like you saw in the picture. Now fortunately I had razor care, I got the battery replaced at no cost, and we're all good, but I immediately realized this is not a viable solution for my main workstation, where I do all of my 3D rendering and editing and even screen recording for videos like on my YouTube channel, that I needed to use it as my backup and portable machine only and what I really needed was a dedicated workstation. And rewinding back even further when I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted a laptop or a desktop, Puget Systems was the only company I was considering going through to get a workstation built. And there are a handful of reasons for that. Number one is my brother has had two machines built by Puget Systems. I even got to work on one while my laptop was getting its battery replaced. School of Motion partnered with Puget Systems a couple of years ago to build the fastest After Effects computer possible. And I'm a big fan of channels like Corridor Digital who have also partnered with Puget and have really great case studies on their workstations and their experience working with Puget Systems to get workstations made specifically for their needs. And some of you are probably wondering, Hey Jake, why didn't you just build your own computer? And yes, that absolutely could have been something I could do. I could have taken all the components of this computer, bought them, pieced them out, and put them together myself. I've done that before, but that takes a lot of time, a lot of researching to find parts in a time when parts are really hard to find, and it's nerve wracking. There's a lot of stress involved when putting these pieces together. I haven't done it since I was 15, so I would be very nervous that I was going to break something or mess something up and then not really have much of a support system other than Google. And with Puget, I know that experts who do this kind of thing on a daily basis are putting these components together, sourcing them from places that I probably don't have access to, and making absolutely sure that everything is running at top performance before the machine even gets to me. So let me tell you about my experience ordering from Puget Systems and what my experience has been since getting the machine. I knew that I was gonna be going with Puget Systems for so many different reasons, but one is that they make workstations specifically for people like you and me. Motion designers, 3D artists, video editors, content creators, even engineers and data scientists. The people at Puget really know what they're doing to make workstations that suit our needs. They're not just building gaming machines and throwing on RGB lighting and making stuff look cool. They're making high-end workstations for creative professionals that depend on their workstation for their careers. And they know what the softwares that we use on a regular basis need and how to leverage those components to help you get work done quicker. But the first step of the ordering process with Puget is talking to a configuration specialist. And this is something that I've never seen another company do and I absolutely loved it. 
I sat down with DJ over a Zoom call and we talked for almost an hour about what specifically I needed. I got to talk to him about my whole history with my Razer laptop and how I was happy with it, but at the same time, I wanted to take this as an opportunity to upgrade. He was able to ask me questions about the software that I use, the types of projects that I'm working on, and the budget that I wanted to stick with. I wasn't setting out to spend $15,000 on the most expensive high-end components possible. I didn't want to break the bank, but I knew that I wanted to upgrade from my laptop and a few of the limitations that it came with, like the size of the hard drive. But I was also able to ask him questions because it had been so long since I'd built a computer myself, I was a little out of the game. When it comes to processors, Intel versus AMD, he was able to answer every question that I had almost immediately or pull up case study articles directly on Puget's website and show me stats and charts of all of these benchmarks and tests that Puget runs on a regular basis for all of the latest hardware, as well as software. Multi-frame rendering in After Effects, which is relatively new, is something I knew I wanted to take advantage of. And Puget had an entire benchmark test showing how different processors performed with multi-frame rendering, not only on a single benchmark, but using different combinations of effects and plugins. The team at Puget is incredibly aware of what makes each one of these pieces of software work, but they also know what types of workflows in, say, After Effects benefit from a better processor or more RAM or GPU power. And as we started piecing out the components for my computer, he was able to show me which parts were on hand or were able to be ordered, which ones we'd have to wait for. And he was able to advise me on whether or not spending X amount of dollars on a better processor or graphics card was going to give me proportional return in the performance of my machine. And I really did appreciate that because I was trying to be frugal with my budget. I didn't wanna just go crazy and spend a bunch of money just to say that I had the highest end hardware. That initial call with DJ was such a pleasurable experience and one that I was not anticipating at all. I've never had another company that was so face to face with me and interviewing me to see what kind of needs I had for my own workflow. But once we finished it all out, DJ put it into a work order and I was able to monitor the process from there on out on the website. And this was such a fun process because I was able to literally see when parts came in who was handling them, and I could see the bio of every single person that handled anything to do with my build. And that was kind of mind blowing to me. I was able to literally click on the profile picture of the person handling my components and read all about them, see what kind of experience they had and what they specialized in, and it just put my mind at ease. Knowing that these people really are experts at what they do and that they're gonna handle everything with my machine build with care and precision. It's not just a giant factory mass producing a bunch of gaming laptops, it's a handful of people carefully putting together my machine and making sure that it worked perfectly. And that leads me right into the next part of the process. Once the computer was built, Puget ran my machine and every machine that goes through their warehouse through a series of tests and benchmarks and even stress tests to make sure that my machine is working at optimal performance. And they give you stats as those tests are being performed so you can see and know that when the machine is shipped to you, it's going to be in top peak performance. In addition to that, they even have a thermal imaging camera to monitor the heat as those stress tests are being done, and they share those thermal images with you on the website. It made the whole process of waiting for my machine to be built and delivered a lot easier because I could actually track the process and see all of these cool updates as they happen in real time. Once everything was in tip top shape and Puget approved, then they shipped it off to me, and a couple days later, I had it in my hands. So what exactly did I get in this workstation? Well, here are all of the specs. The main components being the CPU, which was an AMD Ryzen 9 5950X processor, an RTX 3070 Ti 8 gigabyte video card, two sticks of 32 gigabyte RAM for a total of 64 gigabytes of RAM, a 500 gigabyte SSD for my primary drive, and a one terabyte SSD for my secondary drive for project files, cache, things like that. And there's plenty of room in my machine to expand if I ever wanted to add another video card, add some more RAM. I didn't need to fill this out because like I said, I was not disappointed in the performance of my laptop other than the fact that the battery almost killed me. But in addition to the actual desktop, I was given this really cool binder that has all the information about my order and my machine in it, the people who worked on it, all of those benchmark test results that I was talking about, including those thermal images. It's just a really nice, well put together binder that has all the information about my machine in it, which is just really cool. Now, another thing about Puget Systems that's so fantastic and another reason I wanted to go with them was because their customer service is absolutely phenomenal. 
Obviously the actual experience of ordering the computer, getting it configured and having it shipped to me, that was absolutely phenomenal. But from here on out, I have Puget Systems support for life. All the components of my computer obviously have their own manufacturer's warranties, but beyond that, Puget Systems is available to me as a support system for the life of my machine. I can talk to them over email, phone, chat, even video chat, and they will walk me through any issues that I might be experiencing. Whether it's an issue with my operating system or drivers or something like that that I just can't find an answer to, they will help me figure out what's going on. That is such an invaluable service that they offer to their clients and just another one of the many reasons why I was totally fine paying a slightly higher amount of money to get this machine built by them rather than me piecing out all the parts myself and building it myself. So once I got the machine and actually started setting it up, I found that there wasn't all that much to set up. All I needed to do was install my software and get my preferences the way that I wanted them. Windows had already been installed, a couple of programs I requested were already there, and everything had been tuned up working right out of the box because of the experts that they have doing all the stress testing for me. So I went right ahead installing all the Adobe Creative Cloud apps that I use, Cinema 4D and Redshift, and got straight to work. And honestly, the first thing that I noticed that I absolutely loved about this machine is how quiet it is. That's generally not an issue for most people, but I'm recording things all the time while using my machine. And my laptop fans were ridiculously loud. I would actually have to denoise it in post, and even then it wasn't always completely gone. With this machine, my microphone never picks it up. Even if I'm blasting a GPU render in Redshift at the same time, it is so quiet. And not surprisingly, the performance of the machine is just stellar. I did not spend all the money in the world to buy the best components possible, but for what I do in Cinema 4D and After Effects Premiere, it absolutely soars. I have not had a single hiccup or issue with performance at all with this machine, and I'm just absolutely thrilled with how it's going so far. And then there are some pretty obvious benefits to having an actual desktop versus my laptop, because with my laptop, I had to have a separate hub for all the USB devices that I needed to plug into it. With the desktop, it just has a ton of them on the back that I can plug in all of my external hard drives and all the different components that I use to record videos like this, which obviously is just the nature of having a desktop over a laptop, but man, is it nice. And if you're wondering about the actual performance of my machine, uh, specifically in After Effects, then look at the description of this video and you'll see a link to an After Effects benchmark test specifically for multi-frame rendering. I ran it on my machine and I did clear the cache before I hit render and it finished the render in four minutes and 19 seconds. So if you wanna test this out for yourself and see how your machine compares to mine, check the link in the description to download that benchmark file for yourself and give it a shot. Now, besides the fact that this is a blazing fast machine for the type of work that I do, it helps me get my work done faster and I can even play video games on it. There's some actual side benefits and meaningfulness to having this machine in my office that I didn't have before getting it built through Puget Systems. My whole career goal is to work as little as possible. I want the time that I have to be spent with the people that I love, my wife and my kids. And being able to have a machine that I don't have to spend extra time on worrying about, you know, why something's not working and frantically Googling things to get just something to work that isn't, is such a weight off my shoulders. I can't tell you how stressed out I was when that battery almost exploded and burned my hands off before my brother reminded me that he had a second older Puget system just sitting in his basement waiting for this exact type of scenario to happen and allowing me to use it. So knowing that the true experts at Puget have personally put together my machine specifically for me is just something that no other company really offers and why I just encourage you if you're looking at getting a new machine to go check out Puget Systems and see for yourself why they are so good at what they do. I am so happy with my decision to go with Puget Systems to build this workstation and I am so incredibly grateful to them for offering that discount in exchange for this video. But I can't stress enough, I was going to make this video regardless of whether or not they gave me a discount even before I put in my order, this video was happening. But that has been my personal experience with Puget Systems so far. I could not be happier and I hope that this video helps steer you in a certain direction if you're thinking about buying a new machine. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and I forgot to mention you also get a code for some free Puget swag, so that's pretty cool.